Hello, I'm Natasia, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to assign a static IP address to a load balanced AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment. This allows traffic from the Elastic Beanstalk environment to be uniquely identified. Let's get started. You can use a network address translation, NAT gateway, to map multiple IP addresses into a single publicly exposed IP address. When your Elastic Beanstalk environment uses a NAT gateway, the backend instances in your environment are launched in private subnets. All outbound traffic from these instances is routed through the NAT gateway. All outbound traffic originating from your backend instances can be uniquely identified by an Elastic IP address, which is a static IP address required by the NAT gateway. In these steps, your Amazon EC2 instances are launched in a private subnet that uses a NAT gateway with an attached Elastic IP address as a default route. The load balancer is in a public subnet and all external traffic to and from the load balancer is routed through an internet gateway. We'll start off by creating two private subnets with the NAT gateway for our environment. We'll create two private subnets to be sure that we have redundancy in our architecture. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the VPC Console. From the navigation bar on the left, choose NAT Gateway. Choose Create NAT Gateway and then select a public subnet and Elastic IP address, or EIP, that is provisioned for the NAT Gateway. If you haven't provisioned an Elastic IP address already, you can select Create New EIP. This creates a new Elastic IP address for the NAT Gateway. After you create the NAT gateway, note the associated ID, which will look like this. Choose Close. On the left hand side, choose the route tables link, and then choose the route table associated with your NAT gateway. Update this route table so that 0.0.0/0 points to the ID of the NAT gateway that you created. Choose Actions. Choose Edit Routes and then Add Root. In the new row, add 0.0.0/0 in the destination column and add the newly created NAT gateway as the target. Choose Save Routes. Close. On the left hand side, choose Subnets and create a subnet that uses the route table with the newly created NAT gateway. Close. Repeat this step to create the second subnet. After the subnets are created, choose Actions, then Edit Route Table Association for each subnet, and then select the route table that has a route to our newly created NAT gateway. Choose Save. Close. We will now do the same for the second subnet. Choose Save. Close. Now that we have our private subnet and NAT gateway created, navigate to the Elastic Beanstalk console. Choose Create New Application and then complete the steps to create your application. Note that if you are using an existing application, you can skip ahead and configure your environment. Choose Actions and then choose Create Environment. Choose Web Server Environment and then choose Select. Choose the options in the Environment Information and Base Configuration sections that meet the needs of your environment. Choose Configure More Options. For Configuration Presets, choose High Availability. This sets your environment to a load balanced environment. For the network card, choose Modify. For VPC, choose your VPC. In the Load Balancer Settings section, for Visibility, choose Public. In the Load Balancer Subnets table, choose the Public Subnets. In the Instance Settings section, clear Public IP Address. In the Instance Subnets table, choose only the private subnets with the NAT gateway that you set up earlier. Choose Save. Choose Create Environment. The Elastic Beanstalk environment that you created now has all outbound traffic originating from a single Elastic IP address. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.